in, there's little influences in there from sort of a wide viewpoint. Kubrick, obviously, you know, there's a lot of Kubrickian hallways in this film. But um, uh, what I love about Kubrick is not necessarily the visual style, but I just loved his his uh, uh, I guess breadth or, or scope of stories that he told, like he was a master of so many different ways of, or so many different types of movies, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah, like telling your own story is obviously extremely satisfying to the kind of like, the inception from in here to out here to over here to pre-production to filming, all these things, it's, it's a very satisfying process. Plus when you're writing your own character, you are inherently deeply ingrained in them and you know where you're at when you're filming sort of like second nature because it came out of you so that to me is is really important um, and I also think you're leaving a real mark when you tell one of your own stories you're sort of like saying this is me and it's it's cool to think that maybe someday after you're gone people can kind of like visit you through your films you know they're not just seeing you as a lens for another story. I know it's, it's something that's super important. I wanted the opening to feel super free and like a road movie and like these kids are real friends and I wanted it to feel organic and, and in a weird way small so that by the time I was getting to a place where I was going to ramp things up both emotionally and sort of technically, um, you felt like you were really on a ride, like it wasn't going, it really was going to slowly burn until it got to that sort of firecracker end. And I think that that level of contrast within a film is interesting, it's not something I really see that much, so it was something that I knew I wanted to, to tackle. You're really exploring this one sort of thing that you can latch on to. But it's in the midst of this bigger sort of wild idea that sort of then catalyzes that that idea that you're connected to. And that to me is a lot of fun. And it was really cool. I think that contrast brought a lot to the film. And then it was exciting, you know, we're all young and coming up, whether it's Bo, Brenton, or Olivia. We're all sort of trying to make our way right now. We're all newcomers. And, uh, but we have a lot of excitement for what we do and a lot of passion and we try really hard because we're like, God, we gotta make it. And it's exciting to then have that, to see someone like Lawrence who's such a legend and has made and accomplished so much, come to the set with the same excitement and passion and realize, wow, like you can, you know, be that far and that big and still get excited about something. And, and he is such a powerhouse and there's so much to learn from him that as a filmmaker it was a real treat to get to work with somebody um, who was worked with the best, you know, and, and to see him uh, take a character that was born in our minds and bring it to life, um, it was, was really, really awesome. Yeah, I mean, you immediately jump into that thinking, okay, you know, uh, there's really no directing with Max Fishburne, but uh, he's such a good dude and he's so collaborative that uh, he made me feel really comfortable right off the bat and, and, and you know, um, the things that he was doing with his character were just so great that it's like a lot of the time you're just kind of like in awe, you know, but um, no, he was extremely collaborative and, and for me it was just about sort of making sure we were always in the right place in the film. We shot a lot of it out of order, so that's like one of my key roles, is just making sure that uh, no matter how great a performance is, just making sure that it's in the right place in the movie at the right time, you know? It's like I can be a shortcut to different actors and making sure that, that uh, we're sort of on track with where we should be in the film.